The paradox of putting a never before seen Dracula within a film so classically referential is what I think made her design stand out so remarkably, and yet could have easily overshadowed the actor within the costume, but they did not. It was Gary Ullman's performance across varying incarnations and ages of Dracula is what truly set this film apart from every other vampire movie that preceded it and that followed it. And at the time, he was one of the least well-known actors in the film and not Coppola's first choice, but he's the reason I believe that this movie is so memorable because all the effort to create an authentic, surrealist homage to classic cinema would be for naught had the actor playing Dracula been literally, I believe, anybody else because the campiness of the movie sort of melts away as soon as he hits the screen. 